Once a container has been created, it can be used in any other 3ds Max file where it's required. Let's add a container, then inherit the rocking chair so that we can use it in a scene. From the Quick Access Toolbar, click Open. From the Chapter 3 subdirectory of the Scenes folder, open the file Chapter 3 Container 01.max. This is a simple scene of the front facade of the house that has a nice front porch where we can place the rocking chairs. To inherit a container, we have two options. The first is to go to the Tools menu, then click Containers. Inherit Container. This will open the Inherit Container dialog. Navigate to the Chapter 3 subdirectory and double click on the Chapter 3 Rocking Chair 01 Con Rocker Max C file to bring the file into the scene. Using this method, the Rocking Chair Container object comes into 3ds Max where it was created. Also notice that the container is open. An open container allows us to edit its contents if we choose. Now we need to move it to the correct location. Activate the Select and Move tool by pressing W. Make sure the con underscore rocker object is the only object selected. In the top viewport, click and drag the rocking chair container to the left side of the front porch. This will move the container and all the objects associated with it. Now let's create a container another way. Click on the Create tab in the Command Panel, then click on the Helpers option. Before we move forward, let's maximize the top viewport. Activate it, then click the Maximize Viewport toggle in the lower right. In the Helpers Object Type Rollout, Click on the Container button. Click and drag a container object just to the right of the rocking chair we inherited before. Make this about the same size as the other container object. Now change to the Modify panel. In the Inherit Container Rollout, click on the Inherit Container button. Now in the Inherit Container dialog, Navigate to the Chapter 3 subdirectory and double click on the Chapter 3 Rocking Chair 01 Con Rocker Max C file. This inherits the container's contents into a newly created container object. Notice that both containers are open. That's because the rules allow this container to be edited with all parameters unlocked. To close the container, Click the Close button. This opens the Container Definition File dialog again and is asking you to save the file. The file name defaults to the 3ds Max file name plus the container object name. In this case, it's Chapter 3 Container 01 Container 001. Click Save. Then click the Maximize Viewport toggle to return to a 4-viewport layout. Notice that the new container is now closed and we can only click on the container object itself, not the parts of the rocking chair individually. Before we finish this scene, let's make an array of the closed rocker container. Make sure the Container 001 object is selected. From the Tools menu, Choose the Array option to open the Modeless Array dialog. The Array dialog has been modified and is now a modeless floating dialog that can remain open while you work. First, we want to set the X value in the incremental Move option to 7 feet 0 inches. Make sure the type of object is set to Instance, although this option really doesn't matter because all the containers will be using the same inherited file. And if the original file changes, all the containers using that file will update. In the Array Dimensions area, set the 1D count to a value of 4. In order to see the current array, click on the Preview button in the Preview area. You will then see three additional objects. Click OK to accept the array parameters 
and create the new rocking chairs. Let's delete the one in front of the door. Select the middle container, then press Delete to remove it from the scene. Now that the containers are in the scene, if we edit one of them, they will all update. From the Application menu, click Save As. Click Increment on Save to increment the file name and save the file.